Hello! Today we're going to create a word search generator. There. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a simple formula. Let me get in here. You can select how many um, how many squares you want your grid, and um, so let's see: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you can go ahead and go like this, and then two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm gonna make a ten by ten. Then I'm going to select. <clears throat> the columns just highlight them and actually you know what let's make it by number so we're going to resize this to be let's make a hundred that might be too big and then you select the rows we're gonna make them the same size so let's see no that's too big so let's make 50 50 by 50, and that's how you make your grid um, and then you can remove them now that you have your space in here if you want to make a different color just so you know what you know what you're working with right now um, or just no, you know what just leave it blank so what we're gonna do we're only going to do um, we're going to use this formula right here so equal C-H-A-R for character, and then open parentheses, rent between, and then 65 and 90. What this does, it just, it gets the random letters. <clears throat> it will randomize the letters. Now, if you, let me teach you a trick here. If you ever, um, I'm just, I bumped up the size here so it can be better. Um, if you're ever in doubt of what a formula does, just go over to ChatGPT, chat.openai.com forward slash chat, and then just paste the formula and ask the and ask Chatty. Um, so you put, enter the formula and say, please explain this Google Sheets formula. Make sure you always say Google Sheets because sometimes it will get uh. If you don't enter that, it will explain um, the Excel version, and that could be different. So right here it says this formula generates a random uppercase letter between A and Z. Um, the rand between generates a random number between 65 and 90, which correspond to this code for the uppercase letters A to Z. Uh, and this... What this does converts the code into the corresponding character. So basically, it's just transforming that. You know, it's getting the the this characters, the A S C I I, and then it's converting into the actual A B C D E, and then it says by combining those two functions, it generates a random uppercase letter. So let's go back. Where is my word search? Here we go. So we got that. All you gotta do here now is just come here and drag this down. That's it. So now every time, now you have a formula here, right? So when you want to change this, let's make caps here. Uh, let's do word. So now, so the way the rent between works, every time you change anything in this spreadsheet, even if you're changing it outside here, it will randomize again the letter. Um, so, except, you know, whatever you typed, the word, um, it's not going to change because it is, uh, you know, you remove the formula. So, what you can do here, we can remove the borders if you want. Also, you can remove the grid lines. There. Now, you have your thing and if you want to see how this doesn't have it if you want to um put the formula back on just click and drag now it will randomize everything again okay so this is the first part and you can do you know if you want to add more so let's say you want to add four more columns and then four more rows 
now you have just come over here and drag this down all the way and this pulls this to the side now you have a bigger grid for your word search okay now i have this here and let's say you want to pop this in canva right you finished here let me remove a couple so we can it's it so it's easier for us to see two three four okay so let's put our words here oh my name drea now you can take this and take a screenshot and then go over to canva And from here, you can use the elements. Um, you can use this one, for example, the shape. Um, and then you go here, and then you put a little of this, and then you remove the filling. Click here, no color. And then you can go ahead and resize this. And you can make it like this. That's one way to give the results, okay? Um, and another way is to use a formula here. So what we're going to do, we're going to insert a checkbox, okay? Let's call this insert key. And you see that it's still moving, right? So everything is moving and changing except for this one. So what we're going to do, let me get my formula here. We're going to insert a conditional formatting. Here. So we're going to highlight all of this. Go to Format, Conditional Formatting. Let me move my face. And then it will say, we're going to enter here. So you have the range already selected, and then you go um, down here, Format Rules, Custom Formula, and you're going to enter this formula right here. So let me put this formula out here so I can explain. Okay, so it's saying if V8 is true, but it's not V8 in this case, this is going to be M6, right, which is where the cell where um, the answer key is at. So if um, M, oh my gosh, oh my god, <laughs> seriously, if M6 equals true, that means if the checkbox is checked, then it's going to see so from B3. So B3 is the first uh, letter over here on this range. Okay. So it's saying, uh, let me click down here real quick so I can explain, let me change this. So let's take this one out. So if M6, right, this checkbox is true, then whatever is not formula, so there's a, a function that says is formula, it detects every cell that has formula in it. But I want every cell that doesn't have formula in it, because that's the whole magic of this one, right? To highlight what doesn't have. So I have to. I uh, wrapped around uh, with a knot, so whatever is not formula is going to highlight green, or you can change the color. It's going to highlight yellow. It's going to highlight pink. Then you make that um, that selection. But uh, that's all you got to do. Just put this formula here. Um, highlight this. Uh, format conditional formatting. Add a new rule, and then just enter that formula in here. Now let's say your um, your word search started up here, right? So you would change, um, this was to be M6, 
but then you would change here for A1. So wherever your first letter of your word search is, it's what's going to go in here. And that's it, you guys. And then all you got to do, um, um, answer key. And then you can duplicate this now. We're going to remove this. We don't need this anymore. Because we're going to get... Um, with answer key so um here is working so if i go ahead and type hi that would still work i'll make sure it's all caps so it is the same now what you're gonna do here you're gonna just click equal that's it and then you go to your answer key tab oh it's right on top of it i hate when that happens but we're going to select b3 b3 so we're going to get the first one right so now the only, what that means is that this is going to copy whatever is on b3 okay and all you gotta do here is drag this way so now it says it's gonna copy everything on c3 d3 so this row should be exact the same as this one okay now you see that this one is different right f s j this one is r s u right all you got to do here is just click and drag it down. Now you have Andrea and you have the high, but it's not highlighted. So that's it. It's really simple. And I'm going to leave this formula down below in the video if you can copy. And I'm going to leave this template down for you as well. So feel free to just copy and, uh, you know, make your own. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.